Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum guys. Today topic is specially for non-civil engineering people. If you are not civil engineer and you want to construct your house, so before starting house construction you should know some common mistakes. Because during construction work you are not able to fix it by mason or by contractor. So before starting house construction you should know the common mistakes and how to fix. So today I will clear your concept. Unfortunately, we people in Pakistan and India, non-professional people, they ignore civil engineer. Even they don't know what is the work of civil engineer, what is architecture, what is structure designer, but they design their house by mason, by contractor. So therefore they must be face more problems during building construction so by the way this is the other topic why we people ignored civil engineer especially in pakistan or in india so sometime i will make other lecture by this but uh, if you want to construct your house so before starting a house construction you should know the common mistakes and how to fix so must watch this video from start to end if you are civil engineer so maybe you know about uh, these common mistakes which i am telling you let's start guys as you know, uh, in building construction, at the start, uh, there is uh, layouting. So in layouting, there are uh, some common mistakes. In foundation, there are mistakes. Also in plinth beam, in column, in slab, in steel structure. Okay, so I will clear all. First of all, in foundation. Sorry, in layout. Guys, in layout, because this is the first step of uh, building construction, okay, layout. After architecture work, we are doing layout, okay, for plot, for plotting. So, when they make angle here, so sometime it become 92 to, nine to uh, degree or 85 or 89 degree okay so how you can get 90 degree fix 90 degree this corner 90 degree during layout okay they are using different uh, especially mason they are making mistake here they cannot bring 90 accurate 90 angle okay so guys i will tell you when you want to make 90 angle during layout, okay? So take 3, 4, 5 method. 3, 4, 5 method, okay? So you can get 90 angle. One side 3 feet or 3 meter, other 4 feet or 4 meter, and this one should be 5 feet or 5 meter. Then you can get fix 90 angle so what is the proof of this because 3 square plus 4 square this 3 square then 4 square so it become 25 that's why because 3 3 is equal 9 and 4 4 is equal 16 so it become 25 so 25 under root when you take so it become 5 so therefore this side should be 5 it are 5 meter the number should be 5 so you can fix 90 angle with the help of 3 4 5 formula this is the first point the second one is in foundation what are the mistakes in foundation guys i have already discussed because we people ignored civil engineers so therefore you don't have structure design and also architecture designing okay so therefore the foundation depth should be not less than depth should be not less than one meter okay if you keep less than one meter okay so you will face more problems because one meter can work for the two to three story for a domestic house it can work one meter and also the footing size okay 
फुटिंग साइज शुड बी थ्री टू फोर फीट फ्रॉम थ्री टू फोर फीट शुड बी द मिनिमम फुटिंग साइज फॉर आर सी सी कॉलम एंड एट द बेस ओके इज यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन फॉर दैट दिस इज फुटिंग ओके सो फॉर वन फीट ओके सो यू विल डू पी सी सी आर फॉर नाइन इंच यू विल डू पी सी सी वन फोर एट विथ वन फोर एट रेशो आफ्टर दैट यू विल पुट आर सी सी बॉक्स ओके एज यू कैन सी हेयर लाइक दैट वन बिकॉज दिस इज क्रॉस सेक्शन ओके and then you will provide what as you can see still longitudinal bars for rcc column so step by step you can make then you can get one fit easily okay so this is the way for footing the footing size should be 3 to 4 feet or also 1.5 uh, 1 meter okay also 1 meter you can keep it's width okay now guys come to plinth beam third step number third mistakes in plinth beam okay what are the common mistakes in plinth beam guys i will tell you first of all the plinth beam depth should be more than its width minimum keep depth of plinth beam 1 ft 12 inches plinth beam depth should be 12 inches minimum and its width should be 9 inches and use minimum 5 numbers okay so more people they are using four numbers of steel bars at plinth beam but i recommend you guys use three numbers steel at the bottom and two numbers at the top as you can see three numbers at the bottom and two numbers at the top okay for top bars you can use minimum 10 mm dia and for bottom use for three numbers use minimum 12 mm dia this is the other point right guys now guys come to plinth beam stirrups okay stirrups dia should not be dia should not be less than 6 mm it should be 6 mm for normal domestic house okay and spacing should not be more than spacing should not be less than uh, sorry more than 12 inches or 300 mm okay keep less than 12 inches 7 inches 8 inches 9 inches but it should not be more than 12 inches okay it depend on the structure load now guys come to its and stirrups now come to its hooks as you can see this is stirrup okay one steel other okay so as you can see its hooks okay the hooks angle should be here okay it should be 135 degree what is the mistake more people they are making stirrups for beam like this so these are hooks okay so hooks become like this okay so no the hooks will become like this 
like this not like this okay then you can face the problem because it cannot make a good bond with concrete so therefore it should be the hooks angle should be 135 degree and it should become like this okay and the hooks length should be 10 d this length the should uh, the hooks length should be with 10 d days dia of stirrups which is minimum use 6 mm this is the other mistake so you should avoid these mistakes now guys come to lapping length come to lapping length if that is beam column or slab okay so guys lapping length i saw in many projects as you can see this is foundation are footing and after the footing this is column okay so for the column they keep just one feet or nine inches length so you cannot overlap this it should not be less than two feet okay lapping length when you do cutting length to the plinth level in building so you should keep minimum two feet so after two feet you can make lapping length okay when you keep one foot or nine inches or less than nine inches because i saw in different projects so therefore you cannot overlap okay so therefore lapping length should be with 50 d minimum 50 d d is dia of longitudinal bars which you are using in column or in beam okay so n 50 is a constant for this or minimum you should keep two feet R 600 mm this is the other point okay guys so now uh, this is the lapping length and also the lapping length as you can see these are lapping length okay for example for uh, for steel bars so the lapping length as you can see this is the lapping length level it should be not provided at the same point more people, more mason contractors, they ignore this point. Lapping length should not be provided at the same point because one should be less and the other one should be up. The other one should be like this. Okay, the other one be like this. So it should be up and down. Okay, then it can make a good joint with concrete. Okay, and in steel structure, it can make good uh, bond. So therefore, the lapping length should not be provided at the same point so guys these are some common mistakes which i have discussed the front of you because you should not and also one point other and circular column i saw in different project they are using just four numbers of steel bars no guys use minimum six numbers of steel bars in circular column but in a rectangular or in square column use minimum four numbers of steel bars and other mistakes also nrcc column okay more people they provide pvc pipes for rainy water for sanitary they provide pvc pipe inside rcc column or sanitary sanitary work so guys it's a mistake so you should avoid this mistake because when you provide or when you construct pvc pipe inside the rcc column so you cannot fix this so therefore before starting construction work you should remember these points which i've discussed the front of you so otherwise you will face more problems because you people uh, are not uh, do design by architecture and you don't know about the structural design this video is especially for non-civil engineering people so therefore i am telling you select a good architecture and good designer for your house construction because one time we people construct a house so therefore if you want to construct your house so you should do by good architecture by by good structure designer designer it can help you otherwise when you do by contractor or by mason so many people they are telling me uh, mason has more experience but they are not good from civil engineer that's why because civil engineers spend about 20 years they have 20 year education so how the mason is 
better from the civil engineer so uh, this is the other topic i will tell you about the civil engineer what is the value of civil engineer so that's a reason more people they face more problems in building construction so this is especially for non-civil engineering people they want to construct your house so i hope it can help you in the future if you want to construct your house so if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye